at Jesus there. See him standing there. The light is too much. I can't even look. Your problems are over. He said, I'm here to meet your needs. I am the living water. That's what he's saying. Jesus, the Son of God. I believe in you. I believe in you. Thank you, Jesus. Madam, how are you? Madam, how are you? Jesus there. See him standing there. The light is too much. I can't even look. Your problems are over. He said, I'm here to meet your needs. I am the living water. That's what he's saying. Jesus, the Son of God, I believe in you. I believe in you. Thank you, Jesus. Madam, how are you? Madam, how are you? I'm fine. What's your name? Tega. You are coming from where? I'm from Lagos. I saw a shining light. Somebody was standing there, just there, very bright. I couldn't look. The light was entering my eyes. I saw a man in a white robe with smoke. There was smoke everywhere from the feet. The person was ascending, coming, and stayed there. So are you still seeing the... No, no I'm not seeing anybody. Now. No, everything is clear now. I heard, I am the living water. I am the living water. Anyone who comes to me will never test again. So that was when I now said, Jesus, I believe in you. I know you are the son of God. The glory was too much. I could not even look. But I was hearing the message. I was hearing the voice, but I couldn't look. It was too much. Have you ever seen such before? No. We thank God for the grace you have received to see what every other eyes could not see. And I believe this will bring a radical transformation in your spiritual life. Thank you, Jesus, for showing yourself to me. My name is Chelsea Ogenetega from Delta State. So what happened? I came to get the water for my elder brother. He's not feeling well. First of all, I criticize this place a lot. I watch Emmanuel if I see things happening, but I don't believe in them at all. When my brother was not well, I called my cousin here in Lagos. He said I should come to synagogue, but she cannot come. Let me come by myself and take the water to my brother. I said no. One of the friends now encouraged me to come. I was going to one of the markets, passing along the church. So I just said, they have been saying I should come. Let me come. Let me just stop. I saw crowd outside. So I decided to come in. When I got in, we sat down. Later they gave, no, they gave us the cup. When we were coming in, I sat down. I almost got discouraged not to even come in. But I don't know what happened. I found myself inside the church. As soon as I got the water, I, I felt a force. 
held my leg, I couldn't move. Everywhere became blank, like it was cloudy, as if it wants to rain, you know. So I just stood and I was watching. I saw some things coming out like diamonds. They were glittering, sparkling. So I was holding my water. I stood at a point the water fell. Then I saw a man coming out with smoke, you know. This, it was too smoky. He was just rising, growing big. Then those people I first of all saw they, that came out, they now bowed down like they were worshipping. You know, they were doing like this, you know. They were demonstrating. They were just like, because they were the first people I saw. But when I saw that bigger figure, they now, I don't know what I saw, I don't know how to explain, it's beyond human comprehension. It's undescribable, but I can't really explain it, but I know what I saw, you know. I'm just trying to make you understand how it happened. But to my own understanding, everything happened like maybe under one or two minutes. But I started receiving calls after the whole thing that I shut the whole church for about 20 minutes. People were waiting. I now said I didn't see anybody. I did not see anybody around. They said people were around. So I was surprised. So as at the time you saw that vision, you did not see any human being no. except that... I didn't see anybody at all. I, was, I just saw myself and everything. Because when that man came... He was making statements. He was talking. Do you now believe? Estamos escuchando esta experiencia increíble de esta mujer cuando ingresó al monte de oración al altar de las Coan y tomó el agua viva. Escuchemos su experiencia. That was why that day there was a force that held my leg, you know, for me to see, and the whole thing within a second everything disappeared. But the message was very clear. Everything I saw, I remembered. Within a second, I did not see anything again. I have my own problems too, but I didn't want to come here for any solution. Mm. Mm. I did not. You know, I did not want to come because I just believe if I come, it may not work. I was just having doubts, doubts, doubts. But my cousin was really pressing me that I must come since I'm in Lagos, so that I will go back and give the water to my brother. It will not be good for me that I'm in Lagos. I left without coming here, you know. I just kept having some minor little, little beliefs, but I was not sure, you know. The whole thing is, I just want to enter and see. This synagogue I've been watching on TV, let me even enter inside and see what's happening inside the church. And, and you saw what, what, is, what was happening. Indeed, I saw what was happening because, as I said, it was serious. What happened to me that day was serious. But when those things came, there was a force. That man was the most handsome man I've ever seen, what I saw that day. Very handsome. Not just a robe, like a regalia. Then the crown, everything was glittering. I saw sparks coming out. The ones that were dancing, they came first, like they came to open the way for him to come. So when he came, they all fell to his feet. They were doing like this. I was seeing, I was seeing things like diamond, gold. It was too bright. The things was just falling off, sparkling everywhere. But I wasn't seeing them on the ground. The man now did like this. I saw, do you now believe? I was like, so I had to try to stop the light, you know? The light was coming too much. Just opened up something like an inscription. It was very bold. Then I saw a question mark. It was bigger than the inscription. The words. Yeah, yeah, it was big. I saw it like... Tell us once again what you saw on the chest that was do written. Do you now believe? Then there was a question mark. It was big, but that do you now believe was smaller inside. What I mean is, that question was bigger than the inscription. Okay. Then I now heard, I am the living water. I am the living water. It was twice. Anyone who comes to me will never test again. 
Wow. God is here. God is in this place. Because what I saw that day were not just angels. Jesus came himself. He was here. I saw him. He showed himself to me so that I will trust him and believe in him. Because I don't believe in churches, prayers, and all that. I don't believe in all those things. Because I believe they don't work. You must go to the hospital and spend money on drugs. So all they will do is to tell you to pay tithes, bring offering, and all that. So I get upset with them. It was too much. That same Friday when I went to sleep, there was another encounter. It was twice, but this time it was in form of a sword. The sword was pure gold, pure gold, golden sword. It was just coming from my wall where I slept, the wall of that place, little by little. I was lying down. I was not going to sleep. I wasn't sleeping. It was a trance. So the thing just captured me. I said, I I'm seeing something on the wall. So it started rolling. As it was rolling, it was getting bigger. It was getting bigger, getting bigger and bigger. Later, it started fading away. I said, what is all this thing now? Why, why am I seeing all this thing? You know? So the thing just left. There was no message. So can you tell us how much this experience has impacted your life, your belief now? The world wants to know. I think right now I'm the number one fan of um, I'm the number one fan of um, let me just use belief first then Cohen. Everything I've been watching is true, is real, but I doubted. So God had to manifest Himself to me because Jesus is God. He is. What I saw that day was too powerful. So we thank God Almighty for your life. At this point in time, you need no one to preach to you anymore or tell you anything about Christ or about his anointed or about his church. The revelation you've had is enough. And we pray that God Almighty will give you the grace to appreciate this wonderful privilege you have received and also testify of his goodness anywhere you go. And his blessings will continue to locate you in Jesus' name. Amen.